What's going on YouTube? I'm using the built-in microphone on the Sony AX100 so it's not going to be as good as what you're normally used to but it is what it is. This is an older house so this tub's really old and just to get that out of the way we're going to go ahead and fill this thing up with water and we're going to dunk our Galaxy Note 3 in the tub. So let's go ahead and start filling it up. All right, so we got some water in here. We're gonna go ahead and focus in on the actual tub. Lock it about right there. We've got our Galaxy Note 3. We are going to, we're going to go ahead and launch the camera app. I will start with the back camera and once it's underwater, you will not be able to control anything. So like that uh, touchscreen wise, touchscreen will be non-working. So we're going to go ahead and hit the video button. I clap to sync the audio. And now we're recording, and it's actually recording in 4K, so whenever it has a little time limit up there, that lets you know that it's recording in 4K. So we're going to go ahead and flip it around, and now it's facing the camera, so let's dunk it underwater. We're also going to listen to the audio from here instead of there. So here we go. One, two, three. It is fully submerged in the water, as you can tell right here. And it's still recording, so we're going to do this for just a second. Let's check real quick. Okay. So there you go. It's upside down. And we're leaving in there for a second. I'm going to hold it out. Usually I do it really quick, but I've had the S3 and the S4 versions of this case. So I'm pretty sure we're getting a couple bubbles. That may be for me, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and pull it out and then stop recording. Okay, so it stopped recording. Now we're gonna switch it over to the front camera here. Again, we clap to sync the audio. So now you're gonna see the, my, the camera right there. So let's go ahead and dunk it. There you're seeing the pool, or the pool, sorry, the old, old bathtub. And now I'm facing it at my ugly mug, so you can see me there. Hi, this is from the camera on the Note 3 underwater, so I doubt you'll be able to hear me. I don't know how it'll sound from under the water and everything, but let's go ahead and leave it like that. Now stand up. Hi. So let's... Let's look at it the right way. What's going on? <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and pull my phone out now. That's water. The water you're seeing right now is actually on the lens. So if I do that, yeah, anyways, we'll pull it out here in a second and we'll stop recording. We're going to go ahead and stop recording now. All right, so let's take the case apart and see if there's any water in it. All right, here's the moment of truth. Again, sorry about the audio. We're gonna go ahead and undo all the flaps and ports. I think that the what you are seeing is just the water that got inside there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well on the camera, but the water, not inside the phone, but like you could get it out by tapping it and see little bits of water got on the table. So let's go ahead and pull this off here. And uh, I'm gonna try not to edit any of this out so people don't like think it's fake or anything. Looks like it's actually kind of dry in there. It looks like the water, the well, only water you see is actually here, which is fine. And then on this side, flip this open. Oh, that's a little bit hard. It's actually dry. There's no water inside there, which is good. So let's peel this off. This is hard to get off. So this is gonna be a little bit lengthy. And <laughs> I apologize about that. It's very hard. I usually end up like sticking a coin in there 
and getting it off. I may have to edit this out because that is not easy to get out of there once you have it in there. Got a coin in there. I'm going to go ahead and slide it along here. And then we'll do this side. Well, hopefully that one doesn't come open. Ow. Ow. Alright. Son of a gun. There we go. That little latch closed. Come on. Really? The little latch right here closed on it. And those latches are good. So, you can see just a tiny bit of drops. Again, it says you were supposed to test it before sticking it in the water, and that's not what I did. I did not test it, and I had it under there for a good minute, so it wasn't like I just pulled it in and pulled it or put it in and then pulled it out. But the actual phone itself is fine. So, let's go ahead and peel the back cover off. It's completely dry, completely dry under there so the phone itself survived it was underwater for more than a couple minutes you can see that from the video footage that I'll add as an overlay to the video and there you have it that's actually dry it's all on this side right here I'm sure that if I had tested it or done like <laughs> I don't know maybe I could have closed it better but only a couple drops were on the phone as you saw and those could be you know I don't know those you could probably do a better job closing it up than I but it survived my phone's still working my phone's actually dry minus the couple drops on the back of the phone that you saw but that's it so yeah if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up links to this will be in the description below as well as the unboxing Please click where it says show more to expand the description and see all the links. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram to stay up to date on the latest videos that I'm working on. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.